Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to No No Films. And today we're going to be continuing our iMovie app for the iPhone tutorials. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to export your project or your movie that you have just created. And I'm going to show you guys how to export to your camera roll and to YouTube. So let's go ahead and launch the iMovie app. And we have a project that we created from our previous tutorials. I'll be sure to check those out. Uh, My Movie 1. I'm going to click it. And I'm going to hit that edit uh, circle here. And it's going to bring me straight into my project. And we have a quick overview here. We went over transitions, uh, titles, and text. We also went to, <laughs> there's some additional transition. We went to picture and picture, uh, how to split the clips as well, and uh, how to add effects and uh, different uh, filters onto your footage. But let's go ahead and hit that done button at the very top left hand corner. And uh, now we're gonna look at the very bottom and we're going to simply export our project. Uh, we can tell that our movie here was created on February 2nd, or no, the last time it was edited or created was February 2nd, 2017. Uh, a minute and 42 seconds. Uh, it's called My Movie 1. So at the very bottom there, we're going to hit that uh, box with the arrow coming out of it. And it'll give us all these export options. Uh, let's go stop and start at the very top. I'm going to give you guys a brief overview of what these options are. Uh, AirDrop uh, is if you want to just quickly share it with a friend. You can turn on your Bluetooth and AirDrop it to somebody nearby or to a bunch of people nearby. And uh, which AirDrop I use very often to transfer photos to friends real quickly. Um, it's very helpful. Um, now if we go down one bar, we can see that we can add this video to Notes, uh, Facebook, Vimeo. You can import it to <laughs> several different things. Uh, iTunes U, Copy to Outlook. <laughs> you can import in with capture if you use capture I highly recommend use capture if you're trying to import straight to YouTube and you're a creator on YouTube go ahead and use capture to import it but also you have options like additional apps that you might have third-party apps like music iTunes Instagram uh, <laughs> you, you name it and here's the YouTube app itself right there but if I go all the way right I can hit that more option and we can even enable additional options that may already be just disabled or that I don't have available there or if you're looking for a particular something it might not be enabled or available so be sure to enable it there now if we go to the very bottom tab we have our standard uh, iTunes type of uh, we can uh, add to iCloud Drive uh, save video which would be saved camera roll then iTunes iCloud Drive again here and then we can hit that more button and then add additional options again. So let's go ahead and start with the very first option here. And we're going to do save video at the very bottom. We're just going to hit that save video. And it's going to this is give you <laughs> basically what format you want. I'm going to go just to HD 1080p. Select that and then the movie is exported to your photo library. Well, mine's already exported because I already did this. It's going to go through with a little progress bar after you've selected your quality of the video like I did, I selected 1080p. It'll go through a little progress bar, it'll give you notification showing you that it's being exported, and then it'll end up in your camera roll, in your photos. Now, uh, once you've, that, that's like the number one way I recommend you export, you save it to video, you save it to your camera roll, and then you can also import it or export it <laughs> from your camera roll to where else, wherever else you want. But uh, if you want to export it straight directly to an app, for example, let's say you want to do it straight to YouTube, which I have right here, and I'm going to go ahead and click that and show you guys how what this looks like. But it says previously published, I'm going to go ahead and hit publish again. And I'll show you guys here. It brings up this window. It'll more than likely, if you haven't done this before, it'll ask you to sign into your YouTube account first. So go ahead and do that and give iMovie uh, permissions to uh, upload to YouTube. Go ahead and hit yes. And then uh, it'll bring you up to this window here. Um, from here, you can also change the quality of the video. And uh, it's 720p. I'm just going to keep it just for this uh, purpose. And then the uh, tags, um, keep in mind, none of your defaults will be imported here from YouTube. So if you want your tags and stuff, you'll have to add in those later or add in, add them in right here. You can change the categories, change the description, the title of the movie. Um, you can even add it to theater. The adding to theater is only within the iMovie app. It, it just adds it to the theater in the iMovie app, not on, not in YouTube. And I have it set on private here. Um, uh, location just I'm just gonna leave that normal so I have it here I'm just gonna leave the basics it's a private video I'm gonna hit that share button and it's gonna say uploading to YouTube it's gonna go through the motions here and you'll be able to find it in YouTube later on uh, I put it as private so that it doesn't actually show up in my subscription feed or your guys subscription feed so um, let's go ahead I'm gonna let this uh, go through and uh, this shouldn't take very long it only took me roughly not even two minutes I would say but after you publish it you can go to visit it or tell a friend and close I'm gonna go to hit that visit button it should take me straight to the YouTube app and uh, it actually takes me straight to the video we're processing this video check back later we're gonna go to my videos 
and you'll notice that well actually the video is not showing up it's probably because it's private so it is in there it is probably processing I can't seem to view it here but I'm sure if I go into my YouTube uh, studio app I'll more than likely be able to see it here if I go into my videos tab I'll be able to notice um, here it is. It's right there. My movie um, uploaded processing. Please wait. So it's going to do its standard YouTube processing of the video and before it's actually available on YouTube. So give it a, it shouldn't take that long. It's a minute 42. So it's it's right here. But it looks like I can actually now play it and be able to see my video here, which it is. It's uh, got some gray. We've got some puppies and we got some of me right there as well. And uh, that's that's really it you guys that's how you export from iMovie like I said there are additional options uh, that you additional ways you can export a movie it, like there's give you so many different apps and so many different ways and uh, the, the mobile the mobile is really it's the way to go and if you're trying to create a project or create a, uh, movies on your iPhone that this is the best way to do it you guys highly recommend it you can even export uh, your projects let's say iMovie limits you to specific things and you have another video app you'll more than likely be able to export this video into that video app through here and then edit it or add additional things that um, iMovie did not allow you to do and go from there and export it again. And I'm, I'm just throwing out some examples of how or where you would like to export the video and how you would want to take advantage of this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up. Thank you and later. So Hello ladies and gents and thank you for joining me here after the credits. I do have a unique opportunity here. If you get this app uh, called App Nana, now this is what the app looks like but I'm going to go to my invite. If you use my referral code right there at the top M2326194, you'll get an instant 2500 Nanas straight to your account. There are also a variety of rewards you can get. Uh, now you may also find this application in the App Store. If you go to search bar you can search App Nana app nana just like that and you'll see it's right there it's app joy you can also search it by app joy and uh, you can go ahead and download that right now but go ahead and use that invitation code thank you and later